All right, so we are at the Goodwill today. Uh, we are at the York Goodwill, and I'm very excited to get inside and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit because we've had very good luck here the past few times. So here we go. All right, so when I'm at this Goodwill, I always start here at this end. I don't know why. Most Goodwills, I usually start at that end or the equivalent, but we're gonna start at this end. We're gonna start at the wood section. And we're gonna give this a shot and see what we can find. So here we go. Ooh, look, what is this? I'm gonna reach, I'm doing the reach because that's a one-way aisle. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. I kinda like that. There's two of them. There is a second one here. Reaching again. I kind of like these. I think they're cross-stitch. One's $2.99 and one's $3.99. But when I look at these, I just consider all the work that went into making these. I really like them, so I'm gonna do those. Oh, what do we have here? This looks like some sort of printer's tray. I think it's made to look primitive and old, but I don't think it actually is. And then we've got the potato. This one doesn't have a lid. I bought one recently that did have a lid. Um, I think it's supposed to have a lid, but we're missing a lid, so I'm not gonna get that. Here we've got an old print. When summer drives dull care away. I don't need artwork. I know I just bought two pieces of artwork. I don't really need it. Look over here. Hmm. Got a little pedestal here. That's actually pretty nice just because it's got the weighted base. A lot of the times you see the weighted base on silver and they'll weight the base. So that's interesting. It's interesting, but not interesting enough to take with me. So we are going to continue. We've got canisters. <laughs> They've actually got the chalk. Oh, there goes the music. <laughs> Nikki must be working. It's one-way glass, so I don't know if she's looking out at me. And otherwise, I would wave at her. Otherwise, it's just weird to wave at a mirror. <laughs> I get to like that. But I don't know. What is it? What is it? I can't figure out what it is, so I'm going to leave it behind. It's pretty cute. <laughs> here. Ooh, what do we have? Oh, it's broken. Um, it's cloisonne, so it's this enamel with glass. What do we have back here? Meh. Alright, what am I missing? I'm missing things because the shelves are full and I need to look closer. Right, let's round the corner and put the next aisle. I do like this jug. I don't imagine it's terribly old. I think it's probably just vintage. I feel like it's a nice decorative piece though. Let's see a price on it though. There is no price on it. It probably was priced, but that red wear is just very tricky to put a price on. So um, I'll ask when I bring it up if, if they will price it for me. Sometimes they'll do it, sometimes they won't. It all depends. This is a nice piece. It's just um, made to imply stained glass. It's not actually stained glass. I'm going to leave it. I'm sure that's going to be against popular opinion because we've got a lot of people that love butterflies in the comments. It's chilly. 
Oh, it's a trinket box. The duck on it. I'll take that. I do pretty well with trinket boxes, so the fact that it has a duck on it, I like that. You see, that looks like a Pennsylvania Dutch theme. It's a wall hanging. I kind of like that. And I know Pennsylvania Dutch is actually German. It's just what everybody calls it here. They call it Pennsylvania Dutch. I know that they're actually German. <laughs> I've lived here for 16 years. I know what it is. It's a good thing Juliet's not here. Looks like somebody gave her a haircut, which is a little bit disappointing, but she is well loved. Here is the white section. Please, is this supposed to be bunnykins? Oh, yes, bunnykins. Royal Dalton bunnykins. It even has the original sticker. I don't think it sells for a whole lot. I think it's usually between 15 and 20. I could be totally wrong about that. But we've got the complete set here. So I'm gonna grab this. We've got the little plate, the little bowl, and the little cup. All we need is little cutlery, and I don't even know if they made that. I'm just making stuff up now. hard to do both sides at the same time. I'm struggling. <laughs> Lots of Christmas balls. I do kind of like this cookware. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a lid. I don't usually do much with cookware, but I like that piece. Those are pretty nice lamps. Look at how old those cords are. Those are really nice. Those are, they strike me as being 1940s. I'm gonna do it. Gosh darn it, I've got so many lamps to list. They don't fit in my box, so I never get them listed. Those are really, really nice. They're cast iron, so they're heavy, so they're gonna cost a bit to ship, but they're in really, really good shape, so I like those lamps. And I'm thinking 1940s, possibly. I will probably cut the cords before I list them. Uh, the new buyer will have to rewire them. But, um, for $3.99 each, I think I'll do okay on those. Back in the day when I had spare time, I would probably rewire them. are worth me. I know there's one with a pumpkin on it, but I think it's a McCormick one. If it has a pumpkin on it, it can be worth money. I think it's a McCormick. I'm not positive. When it has a pumpkin on it, that's when it's worth money. What? 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 I can't find the price on that. All of it goes to it. Okay. It's all Fancy, but it's 
probably a hobbyist piece, and there's no way we're shipping that. <laughs> Oh, the red section. Oh, shoot. That just jumped out at me. Go back in there. Um, this looks like another... Oh, I really like that. You know, that was probably made for a teacher. I really like that, unfortunately. I don't know a Mrs. Andrews. old stock wraiths. Um, I've looked at them before. I just don't really know if I want to mess with them. These look like Boyd's Bears. Some of those sugar eggs. Somebody's collection. I'm taking them. Mistletoe. <laughs> That's pretty cute. These are all like nicely framed too. Four dollars. Yeah, somebody put a lot of work into that. I'm a sucker, I know. Unfortunately, this little guy's broken. Oh, hello. I'm gonna reach across and I'm gonna grab that. Watch this. Oh my. I'm trying to buy a football Yeah, That's interesting. It's not actually in the can. I thought it was. Never mind. Price of two dollars. Focus, focus, focus. If I yell at it enough, eventually it works. Oh, there we go. Um, so I just pulled this off the shelf. Um, it is 99 cents modern designs Indianapolis, Indiana, which I thought was cool because it is USA made. It's a plastic cup, but it's got a cow for a handle. And my family actually owned a dairy farm up in the uh, Syracuse area, so I guess I'm just attracted to it. I don't know. But I'm gonna grab that. And I'm just I'm spotting more and more of this this artwork here on the shelves. Where was it? Ah, here it is. And you know, I'm obsessed with it. I don't, I can't help myself. Here's another one. Look, we've got this guy. Then we've got the cat over here. These are so great. So I'm gonna grab these. They're all finished, but I, I mean, I do pretty well with this kind of stuff, so. Oh, there's another one up here. Plant a smile. I like that one. Little bumblebee. <laughs> See here. See up here. Plant kindness, harvest love. That's adorable. Goodness gracious. This is exciting. 
now it's kind of like a game. We've got two pieces of art glass here. I'm probably not gonna take them with me. I don't think that they're anything special. I checked the bottom for any um, signatures. The bottom is not polished smooth. It's kind of dimpled. So I just don't know. I just, they would be very difficult to ship. They're super heavy, but they are really cool. And I figured it was worth showing them on camera. Oh wait, I missed one. I believe in angels. Thanks, Kitty. So we missed this aisle, but we have to go all the way around the corner to get to it. Good morning. This is the fun game where we just go in circles. I'm checking to see if I missed any more of those. I think it's a cross stitch. Are they cross stitch? It doesn't look like cross stitch to me. I think it's just embroidered. Oh, this one is cross stitch. That one is definitely cross stitch because the words are more bold. That one might be a really tiny cross stitch. I have no idea. Let's see if we missed any because I was so distracted I wasn't even really paying attention for those. That's probably me. I don't think it's worth a whole lot, so I'm gonna leave that behind. What do we have here? What is this? It has a quartz movement in it, but that's a cross stitch moon clock. That is so cool. <laughs> and it actually looks like it's got age to it. I don't know if it's just uh, made to look that way because obviously the battery powered quartz movement in the back isn't very old, but I mean, you could just pop a battery in there and it works. I like that. I'm gonna take that with me. Hello, 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 I see you there. I think it's made to look like an old shaker pantry box. Oh, oh, hello. Look at that. What's this over here? Is that room at work? Yes, don't talk to me about the oils. What am I looking at here? Sorry. Okay, I gotta turn the camera off. Made in China. What is that for dinner? Something complies to California, something, something, something. I don't think it's what I thought it was. It is very nice though. All right, so this is the Halloween aisle, which I love. Oh look, there's another, a time to gather. I'll take you. Um, we've also got the clear aisle over here. The last time I was here, I found a Fenton bear in the clear aisle, so we are going to check it out. Some glass face. This is actually quite nice. I like the gold on that, but no. Oh, it's plastic, never mind. Well, shoot, that was just in the bin. Some really nice beadwork. Normally, there's one bead that is not uniform with the others that indicates a signature. But I'm not seeing one. Maybe it's on the tassels. No, I'm not seeing one there either. I don't know. I like that. It's pretty. I will take it. Alright, so I'm just doing one of my final walkthroughs and I'm making sure I didn't miss anything. Obviously, it's easy to miss stuff. I will get back 
to you guys if I find anything. Mr. Snowman. Mr. Snowman. And then there was something else. What else was it? It was, um, for this. Who's this? I mean, that's just cute. <laughs> but maybe not. I'm gonna leave it. Don't be mad at me. Oh, hello. Your toys. I think my birds are too big for that. Okay. Stitchery for like seven years. Just so everyone's aware. It's gonna take me seven years to get all this. Spotted as I was walking by, now you guys know uh, So pieces like these that are made with the palette knife, just street scenes like these. I typically, you know, they're just marked usually with a name like Peter or Mary or something like that. Usually, I find that these are mass-produced um, pieces that they just keep doing them over and over again. So I'm gonna pass on that. I just saw that it was hand painted and thought, oh, that might be something good. Besides that, it has a giant hole in it, so that's not something that we are going to get. All right, I think we've got all the stitchery. <laughs> now, as saying that, I'm sure we missed some because it's just scattered all over the place. But I think we got the majority of it. I think it was somebody's really lifelong collection. I mean, whoever did this was really passionate about it. I mean, this is their, their whole, I mean, I just, I look at this and I wonder how long did it take them to do all this? How many hours went into this? And they did a good job of it, too. So I'm ecstatic about all this. I, I mean, I don't even know how much it sells for. I know that the cruel that I buy usually does pretty well. I don't always buy cross-stitch or stitching. Um, but I mean, like, this is a bunny, obviously. And I like that it has that added fact that she's a rabbit so oh hi <laughs> like I said I'm sure we missed some it's everywhere <sighs> and it's buried and I'm gonna miss some of it but I'm pleased with what I did get and I'm really excited I'm really excited with it oh boy does that bring back memories of my childhood <laughs> oh the electric sharpener Oh, hello. Hey, you, the mixer. Oh, 
Hmm. Maybe not a very fancy mixer, but you are a mixer. I will give you that. Alright, um, I like the snowman, but I'm not ready for it yet. We're gonna check out the purses. Because I miss the purses. It's got a lock on it. That makes it bougie. Just kidding. glass obviously some are glass such as this and some are tin i feel like the tin is older than the glass Wait, what is this? i grabbed those all right so i feel like that was a successful trip to the goodwill our total spend was a hundred dollars which is more than we've spent the past few trips to goodwill usually it's right about 50 70 dollars at the most um so 100 was quite the sticker shock but i'm really pleased with that entire stitchery collection yes i am sentimental and yes i could not look at it and not think of all the work and the care that went into making it um i do pretty well with cruel uh, stitch work and so i'm hoping that, <laughs> that this collection does pretty well um, and I'm excited to break them in some of those bags that were just kind of all lumped together and see what's inside. So I think it's going to do pretty well once I cost average everything out because it was just this really massive collection. So I'm really excited about the stitch work and we got some other great pieces too. That beaded necklace, um, I think it's a tribal piece. It could just be a souvenir piece, but in any case, it was really nice and colorful. So we're going to do all right. I'm excited to see how, how that all pans out, but I'm going to end this video right here and hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow at the next Goodwill. So here we go. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.